there are 196 countries in today's world, and the USA is militarily present in 130 of them. The USA has 900 bases around the planet. That's almost 70% of the world. So, and they're the ones who need to feel safe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, the, the it, just if you drive a few facts by the American people, it will put a lot of things in perspective. And exactly as, as the, my two fellow, the two fellow, my two fellow guests were saying, most of these people are not, are not mean spirited people who are out there to hurt anybody. They are simply not aware of what's going on in the world. They have no idea about the United States uh, policies towards the world. They don't know the foreign policy of the United States and how much harm it's done around the world. They don't know how many Donald Trump's puppets they've put around the world, whether it is in Latin America, whether it is in Asia, whether it is in Africa or the Middle East. If the United States population had any idea how its government has been um, behaving over the past few decades, I really think the electorate would be behaving completely differently on the right today. Having said that, um, but isn't uh, the message that you're putting out that, uh, well, those people are ignorant? I mean, of course, it is a type of ignorance, but but ignorance is prevalent in all countries, but not all countries have the type of dominance that the United States have. So if you go to, say, you know, a, a Western world country like Belgium, for example, and you take the average citizen, I'm not saying that the Belgian person knows definitely a lot more than the American, but the Belgian doesn't have uh, doesn't have the responsibility of the American. This is this is unfortunately the power of the United States. In case America needs to be reminded, the global attention suggests many important takeaways why everyone in the entire world is so worried about Donald Trump, because they're so deeply embedded in the international world order. They're so responsible as a result. Every decision that the U.S. president makes affects the lives of billions of citizens around the world. That's not the same for France or even England or the United Kingdom. The United States is a country which, mm. despite its, its economic drop downs and its supersized debt, is still the world's biggest superpower. It's a nation with super wealth and a super army. And as I said earlier, we with 900 bases around the world, I really unfortunately don't think that the American can walk around just reading today's news. I think, I think, I think if, if a little bit, if a little bit of education came on what the government has been doing, not, I'm not talking 50 years ago and 40 years ago, I'm just talking in the past 10 years. I mean, the United States enjoys tremendous, unparalleled economic, military, and political power. The, or American citizen cannot ignore that. And 